What is up guys, it is JarJarJar7 and I am here um, to play the tutorial of Titan Reach. Um, now Titan Reach, for those who don't know, is an MMO um, that is just hit free to play for the next three months. Um, it is in an early access build, uh, 0.44 early access to be the exact patch notes to this date of the recording. Um, it is basically a dev build. It is pre-alpha. It is not finalized. So that means there are bugs. There are funny quirks. It's a great time though. Um, so let's get, let's crack on into it. Um, the other thing to note is if you want to play this game, you can download it for absolutely free. As I said, either on the Discord or through the website, the Titan Reach website. Um, links for those will be in the description below. Um, but there will be account wipes. There will be an account wipe in three months time in October when the game is planned to go into closed alpha, which will last six months. And then after the closed alpha, there'll probably be another wipe going into the beta. I don't know if it's closed or open, probably closed, I would assume. And then I would assume there's another wipe going into full release in quarter four of 2022. So, you know, somewhere around October, November, December of 2022 so next year to this recording so without further ado let's crack on in so i've been playing um this game um since march this year when uh, the early access first released under a paid subscription which is now it's free so jump on in for free um you might be able to tell by my accent that i'm an aussie so i'm going to jump on the aussie world here um no one's currently on the aussie but there's a whole bunch on the u.s it's a good time. There were people on earlier that I logged off, grabbed some lunch, and now um, no one's on. So that's all right. That means we got the world to ourselves to have some fun with. So let's enter the world. Now, I already have a character here, uh, Jar 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 7, of course. What else would it be? Um, a level 67 character. These stats aren't right here or anything. We're not going to play him today because we want to play the tutorial. So we're going to create a new character, and we're going to call it Jar... Jar, oh man, Jar 1, or we'll call him 2, so people don't get confused with these things my main card. Anyway, and we'll confirm, and then to edit your character once it pops up, hey, oh, we'll come here, there we go, to edit your character, hit the little profile icon down here, and you can choose um, what your character looks like. I'm not going to go too much into characterization, because... Um, I don't plan to. Ooh, that looked cool. I'm going to do that. Oh, yeah. Let's do that. I said no, I'm not going to care, and here I am caring. I'm just going to hit random things to show you all that it's not going to look pretty, but that's. Oh, gosh. <laughs> ja, 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 to the ugly. <laughs> the ugly duckling. Um, there are also like 40 um, face painting. Oh, he looks like he got a target. Let's put a target on his face. Yeah, there we go. And let's. Can we make it a red? <laughs> the green looked pretty funny. Oh yeah, that's pretty subtle. Um, let's drop the skin tone then. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's just do that. So we'll save and then we'll return. All right, now let's crack on in. So let's let's play. So the first time you load up the world, the game might be a bit laggy while it's loading the, the map and stuff like that. Um, just let it sit for 10 or so seconds. Hopefully it won't be too bad for me because I've already played on this before with my Jar 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 7 account. Um, and let's crack in. Now, having said that, the frames are a little bit bad, so we'll just wait a few seconds while we're just waiting for everything to load up. Um, um, there is a tutorial quest. So we see that in the right side of the screen under the mini-map, there's the all washed up quest. There we go. Um, so we're gonna talk to the stranger over here. Um, if at any point, once again, this is an, <laughs> oh, it looks so ugly, oh my goodness. Um, once again, this is early access, so if there's bugs you notice or anything like that, that's fully to be expected. The game isn't optimized yet properly, so that means um, there will be lag spikes and stuff like that. So if you look at the FPS in the top left, um, if that reaches about 4 or 5, um, then just let your computer just sit a little bit. It will run a lot of computers. Hot. I'm playing this on a laptop and I'm okay, but I know some people who can't play this on a laptop. So just um, see what you can. If you're struggling, you can always turn down the grass settings 
and stuff all the way to zero and turn shadows off and I find that is quite helpful. But I'm going to try to leave them on for today to show off the prettiness of this world. Alright, let's crack into the tutorial. So we'll talk to the stranger. I'm awake. What? Oh, um, I fell down the waterfall. I don't remember what I was doing up there or if there's anything up there. But thank you for warming me up or defrosting me or something. Cool. Awesome. Um, let's go get some wood because apparently you used up all your wood on me. So I guess I should help you get some wood. Go jack the lumberjack. What a classic um, character name for a lumberjack. So we can jump in this game. We can roll, pressing Q. You'll learn about most things in the tutorial, but some things you'll have to pick up by pressing random things. Or I plan to make lots of guides, lots of videos about um, keybinds, tips, tricks, shortcuts that you can take in the game using the parkour methods and stuff like that. So you can find all those in the coming weeks in my channel. So make sure to subscribe to stay up to date. Um, I'll also post the links into the Titan Reach Discord. So however you find out your information the quickest, you can sign up um, to those places to get all the information you need as quickly as possible. All right, this is where Jack is. So we just swim, swim across the river and then he's just up here. So, hey Jack, um, get some logs please. Yes, ooh, free copper axe, I'll take that. That sounds good. All right, and then we'll get some logs, five logs. Now. We're actually going to get a few more than five logs. You can press tab to open your inventory. Um, we're actually going to get more than five logs. Um, and before we do, we've got to equip the axe. So you can either click on it to equip it, which will send it to your character sheet here. Or you can drag and drop it down here. And then just close your inventory and then press the number as you would in a lot of MMOs to just equip that. So think a cross between, at the moment, the hotbar is a cross between like a classic MMO and Minecraft, like you know, you can put your things in your hotbar and select them. Um, you don't scroll wheel them to the. You have to use the numbers. Scroll wheel is zoom. All right, so we need to collect five logs, but we're actually going to collect ten um, because we're going to need ten for the tutorial. So we'll go ahead and collect ten. Um, now this tree here is just a normal tree, um, normal logs, level one. Um, that white dotted tree here, that's an aspen tree, that unlocks level 30. Um, these trees over here, you can't cut, and same with that big tree over there, you can't cut that either. Alright, so let's keep chopping this tree. Um, you got a little bar down the bottom there, um, that'll eventually, ooh, level 2, there we go. Um, once that reaches full, then you'll have to restart chopping. Um, trees used to fall like disappear and then regrow like after you know a few seconds or so depending on what tier tree and same with the rocks as well but they're not at the moment not sure if that's a bug or intentional feature but alas all right we now have 10 logs so we go show them back to the stranger not to jack but the stranger so we'll wander dozy on over here and we'll do a little swim and come back to the stranger and then we got the logs. Awesome. So now we need to light a fire. And she's going to give us a piece of flint to do that. Because she has a spare one. I don't know why you'd have a spare flint. But cool. Sounds good. So now we gave her five, but she told us to keep one so we could light a fire. Now you can light a fire by either using the flint on a log. Or you can do what I just did then and just click on the log. As long as you have a flint in your inventory, that will be doable. Less clicks is more efficient. All right, let's go see Fritz the Fisher. Fritz the Fisherman, what another classic alliteration name. Ooh. So as you just saw there, that my frames kind of hit five, six FPS for a second there. So I'm just gonna let the game load itself out a little bit, I'm reaching seven. Usually when it's in the teens, it flows pretty well. Um, which sounds really weird knowing FPS's, but you know, that's just how it works. Um, while we're here though, I'm going to roll over here while we wait for the FPS's to load. Um, people get lost a lot. Um, there's a mini map here, but there's no world map coming soon, like built into the game. There is a website to a world map. I'll put that in the link of the description too. 
Um, that's a fan-made one. Um, but there are these signs here, you know, so the woods is that way across the bridge, and there's also the quarry, which people struggle to find. So if you're ever lost, I would look at that map that's in the link below, or just follow the signs and just follow the path. So the quarry will be that way. Um, but we'll do that in a little bit. Now we'll just wait for... Alright, that might be... It should only be another few seconds before it picks back up again, I would imagine. Just while we're going, we're going to grab some red mushrooms because we're going to need these later. So, the tutorial covers every skill that's currently in the game except for one. Alchemy. Um, but at the end of this video, I'm going to show us how to start off alchemy. And to do that, you're going to need red mushrooms. So I'll just collect them now, and we'll use them later. Alright, so we'll come over to Fritz. You know, experiencing a bit of frame rate, but that, like I said, should pick up. And we'll talk to Fritz, the shirtless man. Um, now, if you didn't want to do the quests here, quest, you can press D to cycle through the different options, and A, you know, going backwards and forwards. Um, so if you just wanted to go to the shop and not do the tutorial, that is totally fine. But we are doing the tutorial, so we'll do all washed up which is the tutorial name. Have you come to learn about fishing? I definitely have. Why else would I be here? Probably to buy stuff. All right, endless supply of food. That sounds good. Let's destroy the fish. That's totally not what the ocean problem is these days, isn't it? All right, fishing rod and worms. And then we go get some chub, five chub. Five is the number that we want. And similar to the ax, we can put the fishing rod on our hopper and press two, or we can just equip it. So we will just sit here and fish for a little bit. We'll fish probably either till we have seven-ish fish or till the, the bar is filled. Um, yeah, we want a decent amount of fish because we will have to do some combat later and there's also a chance we'll burn some fish. So um, we'll just pick all that up now and that'll be good. Can I get one more? There we go, eight fish and level two fishing, nine fish. Ooh, just snuck that last one in. All right, so now we have to show the raw chub. Oop. That's an interesting picture. All right, all washed up, that's what we're doing here. Raw chub, light a fire, cook at least one, and then come back. So this is why we wanted more logs, because we're gonna need it right now. So this is one of them. And then we want to use campfire and cook all the chub we can um, we have yes we'll have to do a lot of hunting and stuff later for feathers and hides and stuff for the tutorial so best to be prepared now while I'm burning most of my chub that's not good oh dear I might have to do more fishing I was hoping oh <laughs> uh, that's horrible that is horrible let's do more fishing uh, while we're fishing we can open our inventory and we can drop these burnt chubs. Um, now, dropping chubs like that is going to be really slow. So we can shift click. Oh, we can't do it while we're fishing. But we'll be able to shift click the burnt chubs. Um, so I'll do that after we use up all our bite. bait. There we go. Bait is gone. We have run out of bait. But we'll come over here and quickly cook some more before the campfire burns out. All right. So if you guys like what you're seeing so far with Titan Reach, you can download it now. You can play it free right now. Um, like I said, there will be an account wipe in three months. Um, but I still burnt so many fish. Well, that's just going to have to do. We'll make do with that. And then we just shift right click to drop all the burnt chub. All right. And then we come back to show Fritz the chub. Awesome. Now we go find Buck the miner in the quarry um, it's actually to the northeast not the northwest but I'll show you guys how to get there right now so let's go do that all right so let's go do that so we'll go across this bridge and we'll go back to that sign I pointed out before and we'll just follow that sign it is rather simple rather simple all right and then so we'll Climb this hill, and then take note, look at Murray, you'll need him later. Qu 
quarry up the hill, blacksmith, that way, we'll go there later. Um, yes. So we'll head up, whoops, stuck on a rock. Stuck on another rock, there we go. Alright, now, meet Jen. Jen's the banker, we'll learn about Jen later. But just for now, um, we want to slide across, as I was saying before, with Fritz, you can A and D, same thing. We can't do all washed up yet, because we haven't got to that stage yet. So we'll open the bank, and we'll just deposit our inventory. Um, except for a few things. We want to keep, uh, we don't need our flint anymore, but we want to keep our four logs, and we want to keep um, our four fish. Um, you definitely want your four logs and just keep four fish, no matter how many fish you cook to keep four. Um, because we're gonna... Oh yeah, you don't take four damage, which is good for the parkour. At the moment, anyway. So we're gonna come to Buck. Buck, wait. Where are your pants? Buck. Buck, did you eat your pants? Did you? Oh dear. Oh, Buck. Buck, Buck, Buck. Oop, now you got a fishing rod through your neck. Alright, let's talk to Buck, hey? Something about making a weapon. That sounds good. A new phase in town. Yep, that's me. We want a weapon. Yep, and ore. Yes, please. Alright. And we'll mine a copper ore. And we'll come back. So once again, we'll, what we'll do is we'll drop that into our hopper and we'll wield that. Now something I should have done is I should have deposited my fishing rod. Um, we don't need the fishing rod anymore um, but I'm gonna so I'm gonna drop it usually you so I'd recommend going to bank it but because I'm not gonna play on this character um, long term I'm gonna play on my main account this is just for the tutorial purposes I'm just gonna drop it because we need to fill up the rest of our inventory with copper um, now he only asked for eight um, which is enough to make us you know a couple of bronze daggers but to finish the tutorial we're gonna have to make arrowheads bronze uh, bronze copper arrowheads at level 2 and we need to make about 8 daggers to get there and then we have to make 30 arrowheads so gather 22 um, copper ore now so that you don't have to come back later it's all about the efficiency now while we're mining um, I plan to make more videos than just this tutorial on this game I plan to do a lot of Titan Rich videos as the game progresses I'm going to be playing the alpha and stuff um, as we go along um, and early access. I'm going to be playing things and I want to make guides and tutorials as we go along. So I would like you guys to let me know how you find my videos because I plan to keep making them and pointing people to these videos as no one is making guide videos or anything like that as of this date. People have made a few tutorial videos but that's it, like on the tutorial, like all washed up tutorial. Uh, but nothing on like how to do anything else um, recently anyway there, there was one I think on alchemy ages ago but that's might still be somewhat in date but a little bit outdated ah look we got an emerald that totally didn't mess up my plan <laughs> I wasn't expecting to get an emerald um, you get gems gems can be used to make jewelry um, which is pretty cool um, I was not planning on um, having that appear though that ruins my inventory spacing um, so I might just drop it even though it's you know worth a fair amount of money and gems are cool I'm pretty sure I've got to be level 5 to make my first ring so I will just drop it even though I don't want to but for the for the, for the tutorial not for the long term plans Oh, so you can still keep mining if your inventory is full, and then it will just drop it on the ground. So that means we can just do that and pick up the copper ore instead. Now we show Buck the ore, and we'll head back to we'll head to Charcy at the blacksmith at the forge. Um, now I pointed that out earlier, so we'll just head down there. So while we're on our way, um. Yeah, make sure, so because I'm going to be making lots of videos, make sure to subscribe or stay up to date on the Titan Reach Discord. I'll be posting there quite regularly. I do post there quite regularly, actually. Um, 
just helping people out with lots of questions and I plan to answer a lot of these questions in videos because people seem to ask them every couple of days or multiple times a day. Ooh, let's not do that yet. We gotta talk to Chasi first to make a weapon. Awesome. It looks like I've got a very sharp pointy stick there at the moment already but I guess I want to make a, a dagger or something. Alright, so copper will make 11 copper bars. It takes two copper ore to make one bar. And unlike RuneScape, um, it is copper, not like copper bars, not bronze. Um, I said bronze earlier and I quickly corrected myself, it is copper. The other thing is this skill, as we level up metallurgy, is split into two. So you got metallurgy, which is the bar making, which is what we're doing now, and which is where you can make jewelry too like this, this using emeralds and stuff like that, gems, like I had before, and I dropped it. Um, and then there's forging, which is where we use an anvil to make armor, weapons, and tools. All right, so now let's go show you the forging by making a copper dagger, which is over here at the anvil. Um, so we shall do that. Um, now, I think we want to make eight. I, let's, I think we want to make eight, if my math serves me right. So watch the spinny wheel do its spinny thing. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna be eight. This is awesome. All right, might even be seven. Let's find out. And then what we can do is if we level up, there we go, now we're level two. Now you will be asked to do this later if you follow the tutorial, but if you wanna be efficient, don't have to come back here, make th three copper arrowheads now. That won't stuff your progression or anything um, that'll be all good. All right, so now we made the dagger. We can um, tell Chassie, that's very up close and personal. I am so sorry, Chassie, I should not be going that close. Um, all right, cool. So now we head over to Murray. Now I'm an Aussie, so um, I wish they made Murray wear red. Um, if you're an Aussie, you understand that. If you don't, you probably just think I'm being really weird and picky. But um, I reckon on this table there should be some potatoes or fruit, you know, put some salads down and stuff like that. Um, bananas, you know, be good times. All right, so let's talk to Murray. I've learned to come to learn about survival, that's right. Awesome. Says, um, cool. Uh, first we learn how to do combat because that's part of surviving, I guess. So down here we've got to change our combat stance to strength for the quest. So we tab to open the inventory and then down here we've got different stances um, we're currently in just dexterity um, but we want to go to strength there's also defense now if you're leveling ranged um, if you have defense selected and you've got a bow equipped you will level defense you won't level ranged and which is ie wasting arrows so don't do that if you want to level your actual range skill make sure you select one of these um, while we click through here um, um, the combat will be reworked. The combat is only a placeholder. It'll look very different. Um, it won't just be hack and slash, which is what we're about to do now, or in a minute. Um, so it will be updated. So, and there will be a, an extra range skill, an extra mage skill and stuff too. So, um, so expect changes. It won't just be a straight hack and slash, there'll be a couple of abilities and some other little things thrown in there. But for the most, yeah. So you can still level it totally fine. That's all good. But just know a lot of the UI and the combat will be reworked over the coming months before and around entering alpha. All right, so we come to this workbench here because we have to make a short bow unstrung, which is where one more of these logs come in that we gathered earlier to save time. So we'll just make one and now we show him the bow. You can't play the bow, unstrung bow, like a guitar, Murray. All right, and then we head on over here and we gotta pick up a flax, which we will then turn into a bowstring. Oop, just leveled up survival, that's cool. And we'll make the bowstring over here at the spinning wheel, not the crafting table. We can only make one thing at the spinning wheel and that's the flax into bowstring. So now we show him the bowstring. That is also very close. What am I listening to your heartbeat or something? 
it's very up close and personal. So then we make the bow by combining the unstrung with the string. <sighs> nice. All right, now we show them the bow. All right, now we can't use a bow without arrows. So now we're gonna go make arrows. So we need logs to make arrow shafts at the workbench. Now, you get 10 arrows per normal log, but as you go up the tiers, so willow logs at level 10, you get 15 per log. Aspen, you get 20 shafts per log, and oak, you get 25 shafts per log. So obviously, you want to make shafts using the higher tier stuff. Um, for those who played in the past, there used to be cherry trees. Oak is now the new cherry tree. Um, so keep that in mind when you're making your bows and um, shafts and stuff like that. And wood cutting, you can't find cherry trees. Well, I think there are some, but you can't chop them. I might be wrong though. All right, so we're gonna make arrow shafts. So we'll make three. And this is why we gathered that extra wood later. So we didn't have to go find those trees now. Um, if you didn't grab one or you made one too many campfire or something, just head across that bridge and there's some on the other side of that bridge a little bit. You can chop trees over there. Um, this tree is a willow tree, so don't chop that. And these are all un, um, choppable. Unchoppable? Not choppable? English. All right, so now we show them the shafts. And now we make headless arrows by getting feathers from chickens. And this is where we don't want to die. So, let's, similar, we're going to put one of the many daggers we have in our hopper. Actually, let's put it in two. And then we're going to grab the chub, not eat the chub, but we're going to put it on the hopper too. So we can put food there and press those buttons to eat the food too. These will heal 40. Um, now we want to equip our dagger and we will left click to attack. Now, something you could do is you could do more mining and forging um, to gather more um, arm, like, you know, to make more bars to make better armor and weapons and stuff um, if you aren't rushing the tutorial. But if you are, then don't do that and just try to juke like I am here. Um, and then you won't take too much damage. Um, the other thing you can do, um, he was saying, is you can press Q. Oh dear. And to roll through. Oh, I use it to roll through a lot. And then, now if you are dying, as I scroll to pick up the feathers, um, if you are, oh, I shouldn't have ate that. That was a waste. Um, if you are dying, you can just run away. Right? Um, and you'll get, there'll be, oh, I double hit. So here, I accidentally double hit two chickens and I don't really want to face two chickens. So I can run away and then they'll uh, do something there. But um, actually I'm gonna keep running because he's not far enough away apparently. There we go. And then in the chat box down the bottom you see NPC drag too far away. So it will just be teleported back. That means I'm not fighting two chickens at once. And that sounds like a much better for my health. And then we'll just try to juke that last chicken. Oh, we have enough feathers. I didn't have to do that. All right, and now we make headless arrows. So shafts, feathers, shafts, feathers, make 10 at a time. There you go, survival one more time. And uh, Murray. Awesome, now we can make copper arrows. And guess how we're gonna do that? Using the headless arrows with the arrowheads we made earlier. So we will just quickly do that now. And then we'll show him the 30 arrows. Awesome, and now he wants us to go to Nika, which is in town. And she will show us how to make armor. Um, leather armor, that is. Not melee armor, but leather armor for ranged. Now, there's a couple ways to get there. Um, you can either go, whoop, as we experience underwater glitches. Um, loading the train stuff. So you can either go across this bridge up the path and then follow the path up into the town, then turn left, go through the stalls, up the hill to Nika. Or we can swim across the lake because swimming is cool in this game, <laughs> RuneScape. And then we can climb this hill 
So the cool thing is, you know, RuneScape as an example, you've got agility, but it's very limited what you can do um, with your agility. Here, you can just scale mount hunts like that. Um, and it's super quick, super easy. Um, and we're going to come around this corner here, and who do we find? Nika. Um, if you like that shortcut and other shortcuts, and you want to know where other shortcuts are, rather, I plan to make a video on all the shortcuts I use to get places and stuff, my top five shortcuts. So that'll come out in the next couple of weeks or so, next week or two. So if you want to stay tuned for that, I would highly recommend that, as that'll save so much of your time. Um, even though the paths and the train is really pretty and awesome, um, the paths are not very efficient, so make your own path. Um, that is an MMO mini up RPG kind of thing anyway, so you're allowed to do that. All right, um, and we're going to do something similar. We're going to put our bow on our thing, and we're going to equip that and equip our arrows, because we'll need them in a little bit. Hi, Nika. I have come to learn about artistry. That's right. Great. I can make armor from leather, protect attacks. Awesome, that sounds good. Leather gloves. I need to kill a cow, get a cow hide. So there's two cows up here to the east. Um, this one is a level, do not be fooled. Um, this is a level seven, um, 160 HP. Don't attack this one if you're level one. You just, it, it's not gonna be quick and it'll be painful and slow and it'll suck. So kill this guy instead. He's just, he's level four, 120 health. So, um, so we will use a bow on this guy and we'll try to juke and try to not take any damage. Oops. There we go. And range is my favorite skill in the game. Um, combat anyway, I prefer ranged over melee. Mage is not currently in the game yet, um, but definitely will be in the game. Not sure if before or after the combat rework, but or at the same time, but definitely will come and that'll be sorcery. Um, so that'll be a good time. Oops. There you go. Um, it's one of the skills in your skill bar at the moment, sorcery, um, but you can't use it yet. Same with arcana, that they'll be like your like your teleport skills and your non-combat magic skills, I believe. That's not in yet either. Same with, oh, come on. Oh, am I out of arrows? Might be out of arrows. I am out of arrows, so we'll switch to the dagger for the final kill. There we go. Um, pick up the stake too. Um, I can't remember what I was saying. Oh yeah, the skills that aren't in. Occultism also isn't in. That's like monster essence stuff. Uh, we don't know much about that skill. And Slayer also is not in at the moment. But hopefully we'll come in with the combat update. And yes, the Slayer will look different to what it does in RuneScape. I believe. I've read that or heard that somewhere. Alright. Nika. Cowhide into a leather roll. How do we do that? Go to the tanning station. Right here. Perfect. We'll make one quick leather roll. There we go. And then we show her the leather roll. Now we make the gloves. <laughs> this target is so funny. Um, needle and thread. That sounds good. Yes, please. Thank you. Um, and now there's two ways to do this. You can either use the leather roll on the needle or on the thread. Or to save time, just hit the needle. It'll say down the bottom here, this action is not yet implemented, but it obviously is, so just use it. And then we'll make one leather glove. There we go. And then we'll show Nita, Anita, Nita, Nika. And then we'll go to Jen. So we went to Jen earlier, she was the banker. Um, Jen is in four places currently around the world. I think one, two, I think four at the moment. One of which is the bank. So we'll head on in there now, wearing our nice gloves. And we'll talk with Jen about this time all washed up, not opening the bank. And we'll just go through here. Yes, banks are useful if you played MMOs, you know banks. If not, it's just a big chest that you store all your things in. Not just your money, but everything. All right. And once you talk with Jen, that's technically the tutorial all done. But we're not going to finish there. 
we are not going to finish there because there is another part um, that we haven't looked at yet. So we've looked at combat, we've looked at dexterity, strength, and defense. We looked at them with you know melee weapons and vitality levels up with combat. Anyway, so we looked at that. Range, where yeah, we used the bow. Sorcery is not in yet. Occultism isn't in yet. Mining we did. Fishing we did. Wood cutting we did. Cooking we did. Forging we did, which was the armor making and stuff. The weapon making, tool making. Metallurgy is the bars. We did that. Arcana is not in. Survival is in. That was the mate arrow making, the bow making, um, picking the flax. Um, alchemy, we're about to do that in a second. That's a skill we haven't looked at yet. Slayer is not in. And artisan is what we just did, making the leather glove. And also spinning the bowstring using the flax, the spinning wheel. That's artisan too. So we haven't looked at our alchemy. So I'm going to show us how to start alchemy and you guys continue from there. So that means this is actually a tutorial tutorial, not just like it's so close, this actual tutorial to being a fully tutorial, but it's not quite. So what you'll need is for alchemy, you need to buy vials. Vials cost five coins per vial. So we're just going to buy two for now. I'm not here to um, actually efficiency level it, otherwise I would bring fifth by 15. But what we'll do is we'll come over here to the shopkeeper. He doesn't have any hair either. And then we will buy two vials. Awesome. Now we'll just quickly come over to this well and we'll fill up the vials. It'll automatically fill up the vials, so that's good. And then we go over to the alchemy. So we want to go out this way. And while we're doing that, while we're running, I'm going to hit the water bottle with the mushroom to make unfinished minor health potions, which is pretty cool. And we'll come down here. Once again, make your own path. Don't follow the path. It'll take much longer. That's it if you know where you're going. If you don't know where you're going, absolutely follow the path. Don't get lost in the woods. All right, and we'll come through here. And we want to go over this way. So there's another gen over here. Um, like another banker gen, um, who's really good um, for the potion runs. So if you're doing potion training, use that banker, don't go back into town. And we'll come up here. Um, now there is an alchemy instructor, Gwen, but Gwen just says, hello there, good day. Gwen's an Aussie. Um, but anyway, so Gwen isn't actually part of the tutorial, which is kind of a shame, I think, but it's kind of a placeholder tutorial probably anyway. Maybe, I don't even know. They said it was before, but this was on an old map. But it's very much the same. Anyway, so we come over to the cauldron and there's a whole bunch of potion options. Um, but we're just going to make the minor health potion today. Um, I'll do a potion guide later. A couple of these you can't make as of this recording video on 0.44 early access, um, that patch note. You can't make ranging potion because it requires bones and they're bugged at the moment from the mobs that drop them. They're bugged. And the regeneration potion requires blue mushrooms which aren't in this map as of yet and may be changed. We are not sure what's happening there yet. But otherwise you can make every other potion and I'll make a guide for that later. But we just want to make our two minor health potions. Um, and you, we get health by drinking these, which scale according to your vitality level, essentially. You get a percentage of what your vitality level is in healing, or your max health is. So 150 is what you start with. So if I drank these, I'd get 10 levels. If I had, uh, yeah, I'd get 10 healing. If I was max health at 1000 health, then I would get 125. Um, the equation for that can be found on the wiki if you are very interested. But basically it's your max health divided by 16 and that's and then rounding a little bit either up or down will give you what how much you'll heal per dose. And there's four doses per potion. So potions are very much worth it. Um, not when you're level one because you may it'll only heal 10 so 40 in total which you may as well just eat chub. Um, so but later game, the higher level you are, vitality, the more potions are going to be worth it. So, whereas fish and meat from cows and chickens and stuff, 
are just flat rate raw values, um, whereas potion scale. So, at the by if you're max level, then a greater health potion is like so much better than the best fish. Four over just over four times better than the best fish. So, currently in the game, anyway. But that's going to wrap up the tutorial for today uh, with the bonus alchemy instructions. Um, this is a longer video. Like I said, I plan to make more videos. Uh, those videos will be shorter in length, only five minutes or so, five to ten minutes because they're going to be super quick. Tie the top five videos or keybind videos, stuff like that. That's going to be the next video on all the different keybinds or stuff that you're told in the quest as and in the tutorial as well as other ones that you haven't been told about. So make sure to look out for that video. But in the meantime, take care everyone. Like and subscribe. I'm not here for the likes or the subscribes. I'm just here to help answer some questions and make this a fun experience for everyone. Um, but if you would like to like and subscribe, then go right ahead. I will keep making these videos even if I get zero. Alright. Let me know if you found this video helpful. Um, and I'm thinking I might do some like giveaway of in-game items um, in future videos. Um, I think I'm going to do a... In the next video, I'm going to do an attack amulet giveaway. Um, that'll be the keybind video. Um, so um, I'll let you know how to enter for the next... Um, in the next video, how to enter that and when that'll close. But it'll most likely be, you know, commenting, let me know your favorite keybind that you didn't know about or something like that. Um, so stay tuned for more videos, more updates, um, and everything you need to know about Titan Reach you'll be able to find on this channel as it progresses. All right, well, take care, everyone, and don't die.